Hi dear kids, today we are going to learn how to create an email account for our school and business purposes. With this video, I will show you how to create a Gmail account easily. First, let's see how to create the account with your laptop or your desktop computer. Let's get started then. First, open your web browser. I'm going to continue with your favorite web browser, Google Chrome. In the search bar, type Gmail and hit the enter button. So here you can see my first website. So you can click on this and open it. So here see they are asking us our email address but the problem is at the moment we don't have any email addresses. So let's click on this create account option. As I'm going to create a personal gmail account, I will click for myself. Alright. Now I'm going to fill my details. Let's give our first name and the last name. Okay, as the second option, they are asking me to create an email that I like. So, it's your choice actually. Now you can input any word you like to create your email account. But the thing you need to remember is, your user ID always should contain at least 6 characters. That means you need to add more than 6 characters to continue. If your username, that means your email address already exists in the system, they will suggest you a sample username. If you agree with them, you can easily continue by selecting one among them. I will select this. Alright, now I have selected an email address. So what I need to do now is creating a strong password. Now, please remember, the password you add should always be strong. That means, it's better if you can add uppercase letters, means capitals, lowercase letters, that means uh, symbols, as well as that, you can add symbols and numbers from 0 to 9 when you are creating your password. So, if you do so, you can create a good and a strong password. If you have finished creating the password, you can retype it again in your confirmation box. The password you entered should be matching to the previous one to continue. If you like, you can click this show password option to view the password you have added. If there is any changes, you can do here itself. Now the second stage. So, in this stage, you need to add a valid phone number to get the confirmation. If you have any other emails, you can enter it to the recovery email box. Now this email will be useful for us to recover our password if we forget it. I will skip this because I don't have any other emails at the moment. 
Now let's enter our birth date, month and the year. At last we can select our gender and finish stage 2. Ok, now let's click next. So here see they have given us some rules and regulations to read before we create our gmail account. Okay my dear kids, if you are okay with these terms and conditions, you can click I agree to continue. Okay, as you can see, now we are done. They have finished creating our account. So as you saw, it's very easy to create a Gmail account for your personal use. Now I will show you the same steps with my mobile phone. First, let's open our Gmail app. Now you will get this automatically once you purchase your mobile phone. Let's click next. Now we can click done. Ok, now we are going to start the process to create our gmail account. Click on this plus mark. Next, let's click google. As I am going to create a new account, let's give create account. So from here, I will select for myself. Now I am going to give my first name and the last name. And I will give next. So here they are asking me my birth date and the gender and I will fill out like this. And here I am going to give next. So here you can see they have suggested me two emails. If you like to choose them, you can continue by selecting one among them. But in this example, I am going to create my own. So I will create a strong password as we did before. So as you can see, now they are asking my mobile number. Right, so now you can have a look on your final data which you have added. Now give next. And at last, let's give I agree to accept these terms. Right, now let's give accept. Okay, so here you can see now my account shows on the app. Now you can close the app and open it again after refreshing. Let's click the gmail icon and here it is. So with my next videos, let's try to learn some other features of, of gmail applications. So see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.